Hey everybody, look what arrived on the doorstep. It's a new Monster Hobbies model car order. Let's take a look at what's inside. Now I'm really excited to open up this order because this is the first time in about nine months that I've been able to get new stock for the store. And that is really, really exciting for everybody involved. <laughs> that means me and you guys. Uh, actually, before we begin opening this thing, what I want to do is I want to invite you all to subscribe to the Monster Hobbies newsletter. Now, I'm going to leave a link to that down in the description below. You can just click on there and sign up for the newsletter. And why should you do that? Really? Why? Why? That's what we want to know. Why? Well, I'll tell you why. Because every week, every week on Thursday and for a week long period, we have sales on select items that you don't want to miss because it's your hobby stuff, the stuff you want to get. And what I want to provide in the future by getting more and more stock into the Monster Hobbies online website and everywhere else that I can. Anyway, so without further ado, now let's go down and open up this box and see what is new for March, April, 2023. Now we're going to open up our box and I have to apologize for the filming conditions. I don't have the old store like I used to with the nice table set up. I'm actually filming on my basement floor. Thus is the way it is post COVID. Okay. So we'll just cut the brown packing tape here. Okay, so I have my weigh bill, which I'll put to the side. And then I'm just gonna move around the front here and open it up sort of like a, like a chest. All right, now let's let the magic begin as we take a look at this and I'm excited to see it too, I'll tell you. Huh, this used to be a yogurt box. Interesting, since I'm uh, working in a grocery store. <laughs> okay, let's uh, just... That's interesting. This is an actual box from Toronto, Ontario. This came up from the USA. So there you go. Okay. Oh, got some new packing paper here, which I can pack your orders in if you decide you want to buy some of this stuff. Okay. You look at that new stuff from AMT. Now you'll see two of some kits. That's because I bought one for myself to unbox on these YouTube channels. So if you see two on the website, there's only going to be one. So what we have here is that 63 Chevy station wagon customizing kit. This will be really cool. A really cool guys. <laughs> All right. Now as an Oldsmobile guy, I had to get myself some of the Oldsmobile kits. So there's two of those, of course, one for sale and one for you guys. There's that Chevy again. Just take a look at that real quick. Okay, so here we've got our 19, is this a 60? 62 Corvette. We'll take a look at these a little closer up in a few minutes here in this video. But I just want to show you the opening of the box because that's a cool part. There's our 60 Chevrolet. Now I just did an unboxing video. You can find that on our channel. I'll put the link in there as well. There's the 64 Oldsmobile convertible. Now these are all AMT kits. There's one for me and another one of the Oldsmobiles for me. <laughs> so look forward to those unboxing videos. Let me take out more of the paper here. We have the AMT 64 Ford Galaxy. I'll get one of these for myself later on in a future order from my wholesalers. There's the Chevy Nova station wagon. Again, more of these uh, Craftsman Plus series, so they don't have any engines in them. I thought I got two of those ones. Interesting. Okay, there's the 60 Corvette. And that's a good one coming out. We also have the 63 Chevy Corvette, the 62 Chevy Impala convertible, and then we have the 
the 60 Ford Ranchero Coca-Cola edition. You might be noticing a theme here. These are all cars from 1960 to 1964. There's the 63 Chevy Impala, another kit that I've actually unboxed and built. So check that out on our channel as well. And then we've got the Galaxy, the 63 Ford Galaxy. I do believe I unboxed this one. I've got a few. But yeah, this is really cool. We'll take a look at it in a minute. We also have the 61 Chevy Impala. This used to be a Lindbergh kit, but then AMT put their name on it under round two. We have an AC Cobra, the uh, AMT 63 AC Cobra. Again, another cool car to compete with our Corvette. I'm getting a lot of models back here behind my legs. <laughs> okay, we also have the Mobius 64 Chevy Nova. That might be a really cool one somebody might want out there. And speaking of Mobius, here's the 61 Pontiac Catalina. Another cool kit. I'll just put these back in this. We have our Studebaker Avanti, or Avanti, however you want to say that. Another good one for the Studebaker people in the crowd. And for the Chrysler people in the crowd, we have a 64 Belvedere. Another cool kit. And we've got our 62 Ford Thunderbird right there. Little rocket machine, rocket car. And then, just outside of cars, but still in the whole theme, we have our 1960s Legendary Series from Masterbox. These are the three female figures, and you get the little dog as well. And the little dog, too! <laughs> Alright, so let's go to our bench and actually take a look at the boxes in more detail. Here we have the 1960 Chevrolet Custom Fleet side. This includes the pickup truck and this go-kart here. It's molded in 125th scale, one plastic model kit. So there you have the nice retro artwork on the cover of this. If I turn it up to the side, you can see the wonderful yellow painted truck monocolor here. It says includes go-kart racks, so that's those and those. Expanded decal sheet with colorful options. And at 125th scale again. Now, turning over on this side, we can see more of these great features for the truck, like the Chevy Straight 6 engine, the chrome for the front. There you have your grill, your Chevy emblem, your stock hubcaps, the detailed interior, and the go kart. Now, I have unboxed this, but I would put a link up here. The problem is, there's 20 models here, 21 models that I want to show. And YouTube only allows five of these flying links on their videos. So I could leave a description down below and I'll leave the web address where you can click on this and get the model. See if that works. Next we have the AMT 1960 Corvette. This is one of the Street Rods collection kits. Includes special features here. We've got two-in-one building options, pre-decorated tires. That's nice all new decal sheet and vintage packaging. Now originally this kit came out as the 59 Corvette and I have done an unboxing video of that on our channel as well so you can check that out. That's kind of the nice thing the reason why I do all these unboxing videos even though they're older kits they still represent what's coming out in these new kits but as we all know as model builders these have been out many 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 times in the past so here we have the rear three-quarter of the car in the box this is the stock version it says cover all american sports car and street rod trim side exhaust american mag wheels goodyear low profile wild wide boots so that would be this car now if we turn it over on this side we can see some of the other great features of the kit we've got the custom hood scoop the spotlights, the mirrors, roll bars in here, custom headrests, and a custom cockpit tarp. Cockpit tarp. And custom aerials as well. So that's your antennas. There's more information on the bottom of the box. And here we have the Corvette V8, the 283 cubic inches, 290 horsepower with ram jet fuel injection. So there it is there. Again, that motor came out in the 50s. So having it in this kit makes it all the better. Next up we have the 1960 Ford Ranchero. This is in the Coca-Cola series. 
which is now discontinued, I found out. So I've got one, so get it while you can. Again, I love the artwork in here, like being in a real antique store and uh, a garage here, whatever, maybe a grocery store, I guess, Frankie's Groceries. Frankie, Arr, Frankenstein. <laughs> anyway, so there's the Coke truck there. And again, looks really awesome. I love this artwork. Now, flipping this up on its side, you can see the car in red with the white Coca-Cola motif. And on our decal sheet here, you can build a whole bunch of different Coca-Cola cars. Again, that's what's nice about these decals because you don't really, or what am I trying to say? One kit can build a whole bunch. Now this has been reverted to the 60 version. You can see in the grill. The one that I unbox on my YouTube channel here is from 61. And it's got the grill with the, you know, the grill bars that come outward instead of being sunken in like this. <laughs> Trying my best with my little pointer stick to show that to you. And over on this side, check this out. AMT 64 Ranchero features include white wall tires and detailed stock wheels. Woo! Because uh, in the 61 kit that I unboxed, that came out in the 90s. Now, originally this kit came out in the 60s, but that was the 90s version, and they replaced the stock wheels with those. Now, I do like the wheel, but they replaced them with custom ones. You get two Coca-Cola bottles and crates here, as well as the Coca-Cola ice chest. So again, really cool features in this kit. Make sure you pick one up at www.monster-hobbies.ca. Next, we look at 1961 with the Chevrolet Impala SS by AMT. Now, like I was saying, this was originally a Lindbergh kit. I have built that kit. It goes together really, really well. 409 cubic inch turbo fire V8, four speed transmission, dual exhaust. Authentic 125th scale assembly kit, skill level two, which means paints and glue and knives for ages 10 and up. So let's turn the box on this side. And here's what we get. Super Sport means super detail. So it's... Okay, so 409 cubic inch turbo fire V8 engine with four-speed transmission. Detailed chassis with authentic suspension and steering. Factory wheels with... Sorry, with torque thrust mags and drag slick option. So you get your factory wheels and the wheels shown on the box as well. So that's always nice. There's the side of the box, or the end of the box, pardon me, showing a red car. Oh, here's how, what it looks like, the model built up with the drag racing. So it's all jacked up in the back and it's got the steering wheels. Now, I I don't think the Lindbergh kit had the posable front end, so that could be something new that AMT actually added in. So maybe now it is authentically AMT, I don't know. Chevrolet offered its first Super Sport package in 1961 with the classy and bold Impala. Its 409 cubic inch engine derived 360 horsepower at 5,800 RPM with a 0 to 60 time of 7.3 seconds and a 14.9 second quarter mile. Featuring 409 cube, cubic inch turbo fire, 4 speed transmission, posi traction. All right, dual exhaust, four barrel carburetor, SS badging. See bottom of the box for the part layout. So again, really awesome stuff. And this one would be great to add to your Chevrolet collection. And moving over to Pontiac Motor Division for 1961, we have this awesome 61 Pontiac Catalina. Now this is a Mobius model kit, 125th scale plastic model kit, skill level three for ages 15 and up. Now, turning over on this side, oh, we have a QR code. Maybe you can click on that. Contains over 100 parts. There's a picture of the front grille, the steering wheel and dashboard, and the front three-quarter of the car. Have any of you built this? I haven't really seen much on the web about this model being built. So if you have, let us know in the description below. And if you want to get one, of course, we've got one. <laughs> Chrome parts and full detailed decal sheet. This is the side view, of course. V8 engine and a detailed interior. So again, another really cool kit from Mobius. I might have to order one of these for myself and unbox and build it. So that's why I asked if anybody had seen this being built online.
Now we get into 1962 with the Chevrolet Impala convertible. Look in the background here, this house that they got here. Let's zoom in a little. Check out that house that the artist drew in the back. How many of you people uh, lived in a house like this back in maybe the 80s, 90s, or even 60s for that matter? Again, really cool styling. And I also like the uh, the four panel color thing with the angles in the bottom here. You know, just reflecting on the artwork. Okay, so we've got the AMT62 Impala Convertible. This one did come out in the 90s again, but I don't think it came out as a convertible. I don't remember. I've got the hard top, the bubble top. At any rate, now let's just take this up here. It says, build this impressive 62 Chevrolet Impala SS convertible. Now take a look at this. It's got all the uh, styling cues. It's got the five spoke mag wheels on here. New decals. These are cool because I think some of them have the cat from AMT's face on there. And then they also have many of the uh, cool like mid-century stylistic graphics on here that would have been all over the place back in the day. So again, really cool stuff. Now let's turn it over on this side. Again, there's that six, early 60s, late 50s kind of modern art style on here. An authentic model in 125th scale with outstanding features. So here you got your 409 cubic inch V8. You got velocity stacks with the four barrel carburetors. That's for uh, your two in one. There's the mag wheels, and here you've got steel rims and stock rims. So that, again, is for your stock car. Oh, the steel rims would be for uh, drag racing. And there you got your detailed interior. So again, another cool kit, skill level 2 for 14 and up. And again, available currently at Monster Hobbies. Also from Chevrolet in 1962, we have this wonderful 62 Chevrolet Corvette, three-in-one -one building options, pre-decorated tires, expanded decal sheet, and vintage style packaging. Again, the nice artwork. Look at this dragster here. You got the uh, blower up here on your V8. You also have the uh, fuel tank right there and your roll bars. Now, I was going to do an unboxing video of this car, but I never did because... I was trying to make a 61 Corvette by combining the AMT 60 Corvette back end with the 62 Corvette front end. So I had, <laughs> I've got the back end sawed off on mine, so it was really hard to do an unboxing video and say, this is what you get in the kit. But take a look on this side here. This is a really cool dragster. This is almost like the uh, Bonneville Salt Flats with the dual blower V8 underneath that hood and the streamlining going on here with the cut down windshield as well. So again, really cool stuff in this kit. Always one of my favorites. And if I turn it over on this side, you can see the stock version, which again includes the nice orange car. Camera going out of focus there. See the 61 and 62 had this style of side vent, whereas the 60 has the bars in there. And the 61 and 62 have that turtle deck, almost reminiscent of the 63 Corvette, which we'll be taking a look at a little later in the video here. So that had to go, and I had to get the original deck back on the back. That's why I cut it with the saw <laughs> for the 61. Actually, six, pardon me, 61 doesn't have the turtle deck. 62 does. So that's why I needed to cut the back end off. So here's what we have. Build it one of three ways, stock, custom, racing, or mix the parts and create your version. Using these detailed features, Astro Mag wheels and two-piece vinyl stickers. Oh, sorry, vinyl slicks. Tonneau cover and roll bar, parachute and moon fuel tank, V8 engine with twin blower options, and Lucas headlights and custom grill. So again, another really cool one to add to your collection. Check it out today. Carrying on with our sports cars, we have the 62 Ford Thunderbird. Includes new part options which I do believe they're talking about these, because they were not part of the original. Now, I have also unboxed this model kit, an earlier edition, actually the first run edition from AMT, AMT Ertl, back in the day. So you can check that one out. But uh, here it says, build this beautiful custom version, so you can paint it purple with the white pinstripes and paint your grill gold in there. Special full-color decal sheet with scallops, pinstripes, gauges, and more. All new customizing parts, first time available. Chrome Sombrero wheels, 
Yeah, because the original one was only stock. Low profile white wall tires, fender skirts, four barrel carburetor intake manifold, which is good I read that because there's a big, big uh, blop there from the shrink wrapping. Air cleaner, dropped front spindles, lowered rear springs. Oh, cool. Cool. That's cool, guys. Okay. <laughs> so here it says, let your creativity soar with many new and optional parts. We have grill guard, that's for it, the front there. Custom tail lights, four barrel carburetor. I wonder if it really looks like that. That <laughs> that would be amazing. Intake manifold, fender skirts, sombrero wheels. Now you could also use these on um, 1949 Mercury from AMT. Air cleaner and the drop spindles. Raised Roadster top is also included in here. So again, really awesome stuff. This should be a nice one to build. I know it came out a little while earlier, but I wanted to add in these cars from 60 to 64. Now we get into the kits from 1963, and here we have the 63 Chevy 2 Nova station wagon. This is a Craftman Plus series, so it's a curbside kit, meaning there is no engine in here. The Cats Collection, classic vintage kits reimagined, all new tooling, retro deluxe features, additional parts, vintage style packaging, new decal artwork, white wall tires. So this will be really neat. You know, I. Th I swear that I ordered one of these for an unboxing video. I just wonder if my wholesaler only had one left in stock. I'll have to take a look at the website and see if it says sold out. 63 Chevy 2 Nova station wagon, chrome bumpers, engine plate. So they've got a block out in there. What you could always do is open this up and add in an engine from your parts box or another kit. Side view mirror, clear headlights, easy assembly. So you can see, again, this is a narrower box than the other ones. There are some neat decals under here. Uh, they give you sort of a black and white printing. Let's just, I'm just going to take a, a look here. So there's a telephone repair company. There's a grocery service, vacuum cleaner repair. <laughs> what is this? Hang on, i got to get in here. i got to read this. Uh... Something about a UFO sighting. <laughs> so there's a decal for, I guess, a UFO chasing vehicle if you want to build one. So again, oh, there's that side of the box. Both sides of the box are uh, the same, so it's not showing too much in there. But, you know, if you want to build a quick project, get new, new model builders into the hobby, which I encourage everybody to do. Or even, you know, these Craftsman series could actually... Like, you could order 30 of these things and go to a library and run an event there, uh, advertise it in your local newspaper, and say, we're going to be building models, and you guys could all sit down and build one of these things together with the kids. And anybody that's interested. <laughs> so there's an idea for you guys that are always saying, you know, what can we do to, uh, to get the hobby out there for the youth? So there's an idea. And these would be easy to build. I, I do believe they... I'm not sure if they screw together underneath or you glue them together, but at any rate, that would be a great project for everybody. Now, for those of you wanting to build a more advanced version of that same station wagon, here is the Chevy 2 station wagon customizing kit 3-in-1, stock custom and advanced customizing. So this one is like the Styline kits of the past that had the nose and the extended hoods and whatever else that were in there in order to make your own awesome creation. Cats Collection, Classic Vintage Kits Reimagined, All New Tooling, Retro Deluxe Features, Many Optional Parts, Vintage Style Packaging, New Decal Artwork, and White Wall Tires again. And you get these other cool features too. So you get your gas tanks, your bell helmet, your toolbox, and the drag chute, and you also get the trailer off the back. I can't wait to open this one up and do a What's in the Box. I'm really looking forward to this one. Build a custom racing team includes trailer, toolbox, helmet, and parachute. Helmet! It's a German guy. <laughs> anyway, just joking there. Okay, so we have a drag racing engine with a stand. Build in advance custom. So that's got the nose on there. All new tooling. Uh, and there's our decal sheet. So I know it's pretty small on here. 
I'm not going to zoom in. I'll just bring it up. You can see some pretty cool graphics. There's even a dragster in here, a front engine rail or something, and ambulance. And then if you turn this over on this side, this box is narrower but longer. Stock parts, custom parts, five optional engine builds, display stands, trailer, plus much, much more. Five optional engine builds. That's pretty cool. Look at all that stuff on there. There's the five engines, the trailer, all the scoops and whatever else, roof racks, the whole deal. So again, really cool. If you get the uh, both of these Chevy wagons, you could even use these roof racks on the, the other wagon. There's a car phone in there too and a tape recorder. So again, check this one out on our website. Now getting into Chevy's larger cars, we have the 63 Chevrolet Impella hardtop. Now I have unboxed this video on my channel as well, so you can check that out. This one is a 4-in-1 advanced customizing kit, stock drag custom and advanced custom. So again, with those nose pieces and everything else on here. So let's actually turn this up. So this car was designed by G Bill Cushenberry uh, for the optional pieces. So that's why it's got the asymmetrical uh, look to it, or asymmetrical. Anyway, so there is the front end, and you would glue these plastic pieces on and then use your putty in here just to blend them out. There's roof and trunk lid, yeah, roof, trunk lid, and hood scoops, as well as the different mag wheels and tire features. Oh, there's the stock version of the kit on the back, or end of the box. Whew. Okay, we have new decals in here, which are really cool. We also have the side pipes. You get a telephone, or sorry, a television, a mascot, a record player, and speakers. Here you get your stock seats with seat belts, and you also get the racing seats with the headrests and the seat belts and the roll cage. There's the scoops. There is a full tool set, a drive-in tray, and a trophy as well as your optional grills. Now, like I said, I've, I've unboxed this. I've also got a video where I built it. So there's a lot of information on my channel about this 63 Impala. Here we have our 63 Corvette Stingray. So again, keeping up the Corvette theme, the only one missing was 61 because nobody builds a kit of it. Maybe no, AMT at least doesn't build a kit of it. Retro Deluxe, all, uh, sorry, enhanced reissue featuring new decal art all original parts and vintage packaging. So again, the Street Rod series, this kind of packaging came out in the 70s, actually. So turning this up here, there's the stock Corvette. Beautiful artwork on here. Again, with the wonderful Corvette knockoffs on there and the grills, and it would have the split window as well. Build a 63 vet for a street or strip. Fun to assemble 125th scale hobby kit for modelers 10 years through adulthood even into senior citizen age. <laughs> just just joking again. Uh, cover the classic split window Stingray Coupe shown with optional American mag wheels. And there's the wonderful motor in there. Engine options, right, triple carbs for all around street use, left, rat's nest, featured blown 454 for all out drag performance. So you actually get two engines in this kit, which again is really cool. Oh wait, do you get two engines? No. You get one that's stock and one that's the drag racing. So there is a Corvette kit that... No, wait, never mind. I'm looking at the back of the box. You do get two complete engines. I think one is a 327, if I'm correct on this. The other is that big 454. So again, a really cool kit from AMT that I think you should check out on our website and add to your collection. Now, for all you advanced customizing fans out there, AMT has another one here for you. 63 Ford Galaxy 500 XL Advanced Customizing Kit 125th Scale. Retro Deluxe Special Features Loaded with Options, Pad Printed Tires, Vintage Style Packaging, All New Decal Sheet, 3-in-1 Stock Custom, Advanced Custom. So let's just flip this up on the side and take a look. So here's our stock version of the kit. Build this stylish stock version with fender skirts and side mirrors. So again, really cool. These were really nice wheels in here, by the way. And we have our all new colorful decal sheet. So take a look at that. Focusing camera. So we got some nice blue pinstriping. We've got a 
a plethora of license plates on there as well as cat from AMT off the side. Includes Galaxy 500 XL badging, instrument panel graphics, custom, uh, trunk lettering, custom deco options, and more! Alright, so anything on the inside box? Not really. Uh, stock engine right here. Build it your way with these optional features and more. Stock engine right here. Supercharger with air scoop. Stock wheels with white wall tires. Custom wheels with stock tires. Moon hubcaps. Fender skirt. Advanced customizing parts. So again, look at that. Really cool stuff. Custom hood for the blower to pop through. Stock hood. And you get either stock or custom. So there's stock custom front seats. So how would you build it? Let us know in the comments down below. And you can build it by visiting it on our website. So again, check that out. Next up for our 63 model kits is the Shelby Cobra 289. This is a really cool kit from AMT and contains a 289 Ford engine. Ravel also makes this kit, but it's got the bigger 427, I think, if I remember right. So this is the actual first style Shelby Cobras that came out. Three-in-one customizing kit, street, road racing, and drag racing, and includes real metal injector stacks. Real metal. I wonder what they're talking about. You'll have to uh, get this kit off me, open it up, and do an unboxing of your own. It shows that real metal in there. I wonder if it's like aluminum or something. So here, hey little Cobra, the birth of an unforeseen legend. So it's got this write-up about how it was all made and everything else that's cool in there. Ties with Carol Shelby and of course the, uh, sorry, ties in with Ford as well. <laughs> Lost my thought here. Build it one of three ways. So, so look at this custom here. They've got this really cool roof on here with the rear lights blanked out and the Corvette style bumpers which is kind of like Corvette meets Cobra. Again, really cool stuff. So over here on this side, we've got all of these exciting features. So the fastback top, the GT steering wheel, the drag grill, the four barrel carburetors, the intake manifold, real metal fuel injection ram tubes, 289 cubic inch engine, mag wheels and front drag tires, Hello Goodyear, Blue Streaks, uh, and then we've, oh, Hellebrand Racing Wheels, Pad Printed Dag, uh, <laughs> Pad Printed Drag Slicks, and the Tonneau Cover. You can tell I'm doing all these videos on the same day here. Plus all new custom racing 6 inch by 8 inch decal sheet, 6 by 8. So that's basically the bottom of the box. Look at all the stripes on here, the numbers, the sponsorships, the circles to put your numbers in. Five, seven, eight, and nine. Now, a, uh, AMT released a '57 Chevy, actually in their slot car series, that had the other numbers for this. So, if you can find that decal sheet, you can uh, add in different numbers for your Cobra. Again, really cool stuff for ages 10 and up. Speaking of sports cars, we also have Studebaker entering the ring here for 1963 with the Avante. Again, this is a really cool kit. Loaded with extra parts, pad printed white wall tires, expanded decal sheet, and vintage packaging for that artwork again. So flipping it up on this side of the box, we can see the stock version of the Avanti. Again, really cool. Build it one of three ways, stock, custom, or racing. So we can turn the box on this side. And here you can see the Salt Flats Bonneville style racing car with the headlights blanked off and a bit more slicker looking. Using these detailed features, Halibrand mag wheels with knockoffs, loads of optional engine and interior parts, opening doors and hood, which is cool, roll cage and drag chute, custom front and rear nerfs. So I also have an unboxing of an earlier version of this kit, if you want to check that out. One thing that is cool is the custom part of this has these headlights in a rectangular housing, and the stock version has them in a circular housing. Now, what I found out is the Avanti number no. two, which was a successor car to this, not really a successor. So what happened is Studebaker released the Avanti in 63 and 64, but in 65, it dropped it. Another bunch of Studebaker dealers got the molds for the Avanti, the steel stamps, 
and they upgraded it and released it as the Avanti number two. And the Avanti two has these rectangular or square headlight housings in it. So if you want to build a later version of the Avanti, and that Avanti also ran into the 1970s. So if you want to build the Avanti 2, you can actually make it out of this kit as well. Now we take a look at 1964 with the Chevrolet Chevy 2 Nova Super Sport Coupe. This would be really nice right beside the Nova wagons and any other Nova for that matter. So look at the hubcaps. That's kind of like the 64 uh, bigger Chevrolets as well, the Impalas. 125th scale plastic model kit, scale level 3, ages 15 and up. This is our Mobius models kit. So again, a departure from the regular stuff, the AMT stuff, I mean. So if you've built this, let me know. V8 engine, 283 cubic inch, 195 horsepower. So this is the tinier engine, which would be pretty big for the small car that this is. Highly detailed interior, hood open options. So you can add in the hinges. Now moving it over to this side of the box, we can also see some cool bits here. Chrome parts and full detail decal sheet. Full detailed decal sheet. Contains over 100 parts. 125th scale plastic model kit for skill level 3 ages 15 and up. So again, check this out over on our website. Available for sale now while quantities last. And I have one. Now this is the big bopper here. Buick Oldsmobile Pontiac. Bop, bop, bop. <laughs> Alright, anyway. So... What we have here is the AMT 64 Oldsmobile 442 Cutlass. Now, I actually have a 72 Oldsmobile Cutlass, so these are right up my alley. That's why I ordered one for myself of both of the kits coming up. So this is a 3-in-1 hardtop customizing kit, stock, custom, and racing. What we're seeing here is the custom version, because that's the custom grill. We also have the lake pipes on there. Oldsmobile, where the action is. The Cats Collection. Classic vintage kits reimagined. So, retro deluxe features. New 442 body and engine parts. All original parts restored. Expanded decal sheet. Retooled clear parts and pad printed tires. Build this mod custom version. Remember the mod era? How many of you guys lived through the mod era? How many of you guys even knew you lived through the mod era? Because it was a really, really short era in the 60s. I think it went from... Correct me if I'm wrong, about 1963 to 66 or 7 before the hippie movement totally eradicated it. We're talking like the Austin Powers era. Okay, deluxe full color decal sheet included. AMT Corporation, South Bend, Indiana. Are they still South Bend or is that a reprint from the original box? Anyway, build this exciting crowd pleasing racing version. So there it is. You get the uh, racing hood in here, as well as the scavenger pipes off the back, which are going way up into the engine up there. Look at the decal sheet. It has all racing stuff in there. Really cool. And number 7 or number 21. There's the front of the car on the end of the box. And it's the same on the other end of the box. Special feature, double-sided pad printed tires with the red line or gold Firestone Supreme tires on here. You get a roll bar, custom air cleaner, custom front end, custom bucket seat, custom steering wheel, custom rear end, custom side pipes, floor shifter, which looks like, I think it's supposed to be a piston. Optional Jetaway transmission. Uh, what's that? Supercharger. Racing parts. Racing straps. And disc brakes. And a new 442 engine block and air cleaner. Looks like the real one. Now, I do believe that these were painted red uh, for 64. Anyway, many custom racing parts included. See the bottom of the box for more. For that custom look, we suggest an orchid silk exterior with a burnt charcoal interior. The cats at AMT. So again, another cool Oldsmobile for all you GM Oldsmobile fans. 
Now, if you don't like the full top, we have the 64 convertible customizing kit, or maybe you can get both here. Oldsmobile, where the action is, F85 Cutlass. The Cats Collection, classic vintage kits reimagined. So we got Retro Deluxe Features, retooled body and bumpers, all original parts restored, expanded decal sheet, retooled clear parts, and pad printed tires. Build this mod custom version. 125th scale 3 in 1, stock, custom, and racing. So let's take a look at this version with the racing. So here we've got some new parts on here the little windshield with the roll bar on here, as well as the cover on the top, different wheels, and the scavenger pump pipes, pardon me, and the front grille is different with the headlights actually in the license plate shroud. And a whole new decal sheet in here as well, different numbers, and the red, white, and blue racing stripe. Looking at this side of the box, we have the rear view with the rear tail lights and the F85 wheels. Now the F85 should have a smaller engine than the 442 Cutlass. It wouldn't be the big block, it'd be something smaller. Uh, check out these action features. Dual Weber carbs, dual blower drive unit, Judson supercharger, custom tail assembly, disc brakes, custom aluminum wheels, custom grill, racing screen, racing windshield, tonneau cover. There's what it looks like from the top. We have the custom shifter, the Janssen steering wheel, and the custom air cleaner, as well as... Okay, there's a wrinkle here, so I can't really read it. But it looks like the racing pipes and headers. It says, only from the cats at AMT. See the super racing version on the other side. The other side. There. <laughs> okay, so again, another cool kit from the cats at AMT, and one you can add into your collection. Next up, we have the AMT 1964 Ford Galaxy 500 XL. This again is a Craftman Plus series, so good to build with the beginner modeler, or if you just want to build it without having to worry about the engine and all that sort of stuff. Sometimes it's nice to get away from, uh, you know, super detailed kits. Now, however, if you do want the engine, um, I'm not sure if you can actually use the parts from the 63 Galaxy and swap out the entire undercarriage on this kit and then bring it in. So you'd open up the hood with your number 16 hobby blade. You could add in that firewall from the 63 as well as the rad support and the radiator and then use the chassis from the 63. Now, I don't know. I haven't done this. So if you have, let me know in the comments down below. Special features, authentic details, white wall tires, vintage style packaging again, and all new colorful decals. 125th scale easy assembly curbside style kit. So bring this up around the side. Now remember this is a narrower box, so basically you can imagine your body shell being in here and the roof touching and the bottom down here somewhere. So we got chrome bumpers, engine plate, bucket seats, chrome wheels, and easy assembly. The other thing is you could make these into slot cars as well for 125th scale racing for all you guys tuning in that do that. This would be a great kit for that. In fact, AMT actually did release one of these as a slot car in that slot car series that came out a long time ago. It wasn't a popular series, but um, it's out there. So anyway, here is this kit which you can get at Monster Hobbies now. Here we have something for all the Plymouth fans out there. The 64 Plymouth Belvedere two-door hardtop. Again, another cool kit. This was originally a Lindbergh kit, and I have unboxed that one. It's also on this channel. Includes two complete engines, the Slant 6 and the V8. Comprend two mo... Oh, that's French. <laughs> one plastic kit. Oh, I see. Okay, that's the same. All right. Sorry, I got a little off there. Okay, so turning it up on this side, there's the engine options. The 225 cubic inch slant 6 or the 426 cubic inch V8. Which one would you build? Actually, you could get two cars. You could build one as the stripped down or one as the deluxe racing machine. All new decals. Look at that. Silver flames in a black box. We also have license plates in there, as well as air cleaner decals for the V8. Probably for the 6 as well. And looking on this side, build this beautiful stock Belvedere as it would come out of the showroom floor. 
Features, opening hood, detailed chassis and suspension, chrome parts, detailed interior, Goodyear vinyl tires. And it also has the same features in French. Eh? <laughs> in French. In French. Eh? Yes. In Espanol. Okay, anyway, so there is the 64 AMT Plymouth Belvedere. Wrapping up our 1960s car collection for sale now at Monster Hobbies, www.monster-hobbies.ca, we have the legendary 60s series from Master Box on New Adventures. So here it's actually a one box collection of three separately sold figures with the addition of this dog in here. That's really a cool way to get all these. So that's why I got this box to sell. So we have the beatnik girl sitting here waiting for the other female mechanic here and this girl to finish working on her car. This kit includes parts for the assembly of three figures and one dog. This kit is not completed by the model of the car. Um, so Masterbox, if you don't know, is out of the Ukraine. So their English is a little bit uh, weird right here. What they mean to say is the model car is not included in the kit. Now again, this could be an AMT 57 Chevy, if you want. Uh, but yeah, it's up to you what car you want to use. Hopefully one from the collection we just spent all this time looking at. Attention, this set requires both glue and paint in order to be completed. Uh, not included. Paint and glue not included. So the illustration is by V. Pedalin, and the sculptor is A. Gagarin by Masterbox. So I'm going to turn this over. Because on this side, you can actually see the instructions for the figures. One thing that's interesting is the artist never put on the cap on the girl, and yet it's included in the kit. So I don't know if you have to put the cap on the girl, if it's like part of the top of her head, <laughs> or if it just kind of goes over her hair. So if you get this... Actually, I'm going to be unboxing one of these. What am I talking about? I got the, uh, the two Oldsmobiles, this... Oh, and the 63 Chevy uh, wagon. So look for those videos coming out soon. Look at this. You get this nice suitcase here. There's the girl. Now the tire and the wheel, I don't think are included in this. But she should be able to hold any tire and wheel that you have. And then here we've got the beatnik chick <laughs> waiting on a car. And then we've got the dog down here. And the mechanic, oh yeah, the hat. So here's the colors using a Vallejo or Life Color. Now I know about Vallejo, they're acrylics. I'm not sure on Life Color. If any of you have experience with that, let me know in the comments down below. And then here we have the parts trees for each of the figures. Look at that, that suitcase is actually three pieces. So you could potentially have it open. Ah, there's only one problem, the straps. <laughs> Yeah, you'd have to adjust that because if you had it open, these buckles, the, the part of the strap sticking below the buckles would be not in there. Anyway, that's up to you. And then, of course, we get the dog down below. So another great model set. Something that your car guys could use. You can also use this along with the garage figures that we have on our, uh, on our store, like the Tip Top Shop from AMT or any of those. And even the Fujimi mechanic figures, they would all fit into this sort of thing. It's, it's just how you use them. Well, I hope you enjoyed that look at our model car collection that now is available for sale online at www.monster-hobbies.ca while supplies last. I will link our entire automotive model car page in the comment section down below. So just click that link and you can go right there. Also sign up for our newsletter because like I said at the beginning of the video, every week we have great deals on model kits. Sometimes you can even save up to 20, maybe even 30% on selected items. So make sure that you are a Monster Hobbies newsletter subscriber because that is the way that you are gonna get these amazing deals on all these model kits. And also look forward to some unboxing videos in the future because I'm going to take a look at some new stuff. I can't believe it's been so long since I've had new product in to unbox and show everybody out there. So I can't wait for that. 
So again, join us over at www.monster-hobbies.ca in order to get some your hands, in order to get your hands on these amazing kits. Join us at www.monster-hobbies.ca. This has been a long video and I'm kind of tired, but very excited to do this kind of great stuff and for you to get your hands on these amazing model kits that are all, well, right over here <laughs> that I reviewed. So until next time, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you check out our website and see all the new stuff for yourself. And until next time, happy model building, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.